Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of this week's expunge mission, which is Tartarus. Uh, I'm using the Titan. I'm using Middle Tree uh, Thunder Crash, basically. Uh, catapult Lift, very important for this. Uh, I'm using Truth Teller and I'm using Anarchy. Now, you don't have to use Anarchy. We'll be applying the Breach and Clear buff with Truth Teller. As you can see here, these are the two main kind of pieces of armor I'll be switching between. I'll be using Curass of the Fallen Star when we get to the boss. And to get us there, I'll be using Lion Rampants. Now, this isn't a long run. Get it done in six minutes, solo flawless. But I think this one took me just, just about four minutes. So a pretty quick video. So we'll be going pretty quickly. Uh, Breach and Clear, obviously, is the mod I'll be using uh, to apply the debuff to do more damage to the boss. So I've upgraded my Splicer Gauntlet to get is it Wire Cutter, which I think is the first upgrade on the legendary upgrades bottom bottom row on the left and that allows me to take shortcuts although it really isn't needed it does take a little bit of time off but my experience with the runs that i've been doing it's about 30 seconds it's nothing major so as you can see when we drop down here i can activate this which will open up a shortcut right right in front of us just above go up here now i am going to do what some of you might think is a bit unnecessary a little bit hollywood it's it's very simple to do. I've done it because it saves fall time. So when we get down here, I'm going to sprint off here. And you can see I'm going to place my reticle where I want to land. And as soon as it's right in the middle of it, I will do the melee. And that will fly us right down. You will land wherever your reticle was. So you need to make sure you can get the reticle on the landing zone. And then just do the melee, which is effectively, effectively death from above from the Destiny 1. Uh, Titan, Fist of Havoc, or Panic, depending on whether you ran Titan or not. So that gets us down here. We've just we've just crossed the minute mark, and this is where really the skip's going to take place. Now I'm sure many people have seen this skip. I actually done this on stream maybe Tuesday, Wednesday, and just literally forgot to upload a run of it because I've been doing one every week. So I might as well keep that routine going. So now I've activated that console which basically gives us platforms, helps us to get past this jumping section, just a tad easier. Skip comes in the next section. Now, if you've upgraded your Splicer Gauntlet again, you'll have these teleporters. If you don't, stick a sword on. You literally can just jump around using the sword jump technique. This is where the skip comes in. Now, as you can see, I'm, I can tank these energy walls because I've upgraded the Splicer Gauntlet, which I keep saying. This is the skip. So you jump on that, that long, high kind of platform on the left, jump round up onto the box, and straight over the top. We've skipped a whole heap of that section. Very, very easy to do. So we're going to jump over here. Once we land on this platform up here, you see I'm going to change. I'm going to take line rampants off. I'm not going to need them. And we're going to put the cuirass at the Fallen Storm, which obviously increases the damage that Thunder Crash can do. Now, this section here, the boss section, the idea is there's a plate in the center, you're going to activate it, you're going to activate the complex, a plate's going to appear, and you're going to get a charge of, I think it's times 32. As long as you've still got charge, you'll be fine. And this goes so bad past so quickly, it's hardly even worth talking about. So as soon as the boss comes, the shield will be, you'll, he'll be open to attack the minute he appears. So get ready to put a debuff on him, I debuffed them first before I used my anarchy. Uh, if you're using a rocket, I would do the same thing. Debuff them and then fire your rocket. Now what's going to happen is two of these boxes are going to appear. One, oops, easy to fire right. I'm just going to clear some of those. Clear, clear this sniper just to make life a little bit easier. And then there's one over here on the left. Now, for the first wave, all you have to do is shoot those boxes and it brings the boss back into play. So... As you can see, I've got uh, stabilized security access times six. So I'm going to get back into the center. Uh, we just use my melee to take sit down some of these. I'll get back into the middle. Clear those harpies up on here. And as soon as he goes back into that box, what's going to happen now, as you'll see there, you're going to get minotaurs. No. I say you're going to get Minotaurs. These Minotaurs are going to stop your access to the boxes. Now, I'd ran out of special here, and you can see, no big deal. I put a grenade down, 
It's not it's not match game or anything. I put a grenade down and then punched them to death. And now I'll debuff them with the anarchy. Hit them with the, the super. Now, if you've got your super in the second wave, just hit them with that because I, I feel like the second wave is where you've got to take, you know, after you do the first set of box, that's where you've got to do the most damage. That's where he's got the most health. I have let this section play out so anybody that didn't hear uh, the commentary can hear it. And there you go. It's very, 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 very simple run. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I always appreciate your support. All the support I get on the channel. Later on today, I will be uploading a Titan run of the Nightfall. Just showing how easy it is to delete that boss uh, at, at the end. And claim yourself a hung jury if you haven't already done it. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you guys have a great day, and until the next video, take it easy. But the Vex mind at the source of the endless night remains elusive. We need to move quickly. The simulation is draining the city's energy. I won't stand by and watch our lightless civilians continue to suffer. Agora, I don't intend to let that happen. We will work harder.